Yes, they come over through cartels and through coyotes and through gangs. Vice President Biden, let me bring you into this conversation. Quick response and then another question to you. Please, sir, to make it a disincentive to come to begin with. They, real tough, we're really strong. And guess what? They cannot, it's not coyotes didn't bring them over. Their parents were with them. They got separated from their parents. And it makes us a laughing stock and violates every notion of who we are as a nation. Let me ask you a follow-up to that. Did, we did not they built separate. the cages. They, who built the cages, let's, Joe? Let's talk about what who we're built talking the cages, about. Let's Joe. talk about what we're talking about. What happened? Parents were ripped there. Now they cannot find over 500 sets of those parents, and those kids are alone. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. It's criminal. It's criminal. Let me ask you about it. I will say this. They went down. We brought reporters, everything. They're in facilities that were so clean. But some of them haven't been reunited. But just ask one question. Who built the cages? I'd love you to ask of that. Who built the cages? Let me ask you about your immigration policy, Mr. Vice President. The Obama administration did administration. It also presided over record deportations as well as family detentions at the border before changing course. So why should voters trust you with an immigration overhaul now? I'll be president of the United States, not vice president of the United States. And the fact is, I've made it very clear. Within 100 days, I'm going to send to the United States Congress a pathway to citizenship for over 11 million undocumented people. And all of those so-called dreamers, those DACA kids, they're going to be immediately certified again to be able to stay in this country and put on a path to citizenship. The idea...